Is this the classic Netflix documentary thing? No, no, no. It's different. Oh. It's the podcast. Yo, you think we yeah. get Netflix to sponsor our podcast? <laughs> yeah. yeah sure. Anyone got connects? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of the Cloud9 Forecast. Today we're joined by Blabber and a new special guest. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Uh, introduce yourself for those who might not know. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of new to the scene here. So mm -hmm. I'm Sven, former support and AD carry player for both C9 and Mineral Earth teams. Good to be here. Cool, cool. Thanks for coming. Yeah. So today <laughs> is all about MSI. It's a lot of man. Sorry, sorry, my bad. <laughs> Dude, take I'm having a good time, man. Yeah, like, let, let's guy do his thing. Bye, bye, bye. Wait, can I swear or not? Fine. Okay, nice. <laughs> excellent. <laughs> excellent. <laughs> I'm okay, okay. Today's episode is about MSI. It just oh, yeah. started. We had our first game last night, this morning, depending on your sleep schedule. <laughs> uh, and we're going to be doing a tier list. So let's just get into it. Who do you guys got number one? Number one? Yeah, who's your number one pick for uh, winning the whole thing? I mean, I, I'm, I'm putting BLG at number one. Okay. Because I'm, I'm just a fan of... Uh, He's Chinese bias. I'm a, not Chinese bias. I'm a fan of the LPL. Chinese um, bias. So Do I like I like the OG. for that. I like it's <laughs> <laughs> like a plus plus in the monitor. <laughs> but to be honest, I don't actually know. I feel like it's so hard to do these rankings. Like, yeah, it is. Like the regions, they just don't play against each other, and historically, LPL has been a lot better at MSI, uh, at least the last couple years uh, specifically. So, yeah, I think uh, I think they should be the favorites going in, just because I think LPL has done better at MSI uh, in recent years. Okay. Do you agree? Yeah. You got I kind of agree. I had BLG and Gen G in the top tier. Yeah, I think it'd be like, those two. That was like my my finals preview tier. Like I think those two teams will be in the finals if they don't meet somehow before that. Okay, you don't think T1's gonna do their thing? I think it's fair enough to argue that T1 could make finals if like Gen G, you know, they do end up choking like they have in the past. Uh, I do think this is the year that Chovy and Gen G break the curse. I, I think that the finals will be Gen G BLG. Okay, okay, that's fair. So we got S tier, BLG, Gen G. Yeah, I'm following that. And yeah. then uh, what we're going down, we got. Uh, is it just going to be the other LPL and LCK? <laughs> uh, I don't. Know. I think I think T1 is probably more favored to win this tournament than top. Yeah. Like yeah, I would I put agree. T1 in their own category. Like I I don't think they're as strong as BLG and probably Gen G, <clears throat> even though their finals was like really close. Yeah. Um, but I don't think that they are. In the same tier as top, I think they they are a bit better than uh, top. At least their chances to win the tournament. I think they have more like I don't know ways to win. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think at least you put T1 on the left if that matters, or you put them in like a tier below Gen G and BLG, and then a tier above top. I think that's fair. Both works. Also, it's T1 at the national. They use they, they, they tend to be better. Well. Yeah. yeah, they usually do really well. Do, what, what criteria do you guys use when you're trying to do these like you know rankings at international tournaments? Because it's so hard to judge, right? Like. Even if you look at the teams in playoffs, it's usually going to be a whole different patch for the tournament. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, this tournament so far, it's really a uh, kind of disgusting meta of lane swaps. <laughs> Do you think that gives anybody an edge? Is there any team that's like you know like super good at laning who might not be able to get that advantage, or some teams that's like late game kings who I mean, it need always to cheese their way th through the early game? It always benefits the people that actually played that far back in the time. You know, mm -hmm. like Faker will know what happens in lane swap. Even though he got gang level one yesterday. And he <laughs> yeah, he, he didn't know that. <laughs> he wasn't ready for that. No, I, I, I swear, uh, dude. Game two. He should have been. Game two, he got. Uh, he died to the level one Aatrox gank because he, he Q2 predicted his flash. Yeah. And then Faker was just on tilt for the rest of the game. It was the, the funniest thing. But yeah, he should have known that because it was a really common occurrence back in the day mm -hmm. when season five is old. Um, yeah, you were, you were playing back then? Yeah, how it actually was. <laughs> were you <laughs> Niels back then? Yeah, it was. That was back when... The good old days. The Koreans copied the European lane swap and then they stumbled with it. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> anyways. I think the point I was trying to make was that some teams like T1, Faker, should know how to play lane swap, while someone like Chovy shouldn't, right? Or like yeah. might not know not, how to play. Not so as well, like, yeah. If there's like something funny happening in lane swap, Faker might be better at adapting to it on the on the move than, than Chovy will, right? He didn't show that yesterday, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But I don't think it will throw these teams off too much. They've been screaming for like, what, a month now? Yeah. Probably uh, on this new new patch with Lane Swaps being a thing. So I'm sure they will be ready for it at this point. And there won't be like too much variation in the swaps. So, yeah. Okay. Did they even swap that much in their playoffs? The, the LPL? Not, 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 not Yeah, not that much, right? Yeah. LPL, I, th I think they did a couple LPL, of games. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, it was like G2 and LPL, right? I mean, there was some yeah. LTK finals, like the the game Seuss, Seuss played TF. He was like, oh, yeah, one, yeah, like five yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah. He still performed really well though, in that game. So like, <laughs> he's he playing TF, very balanced didn't... character. Yeah, I mean, that champ is really, really skilled. <laughs> Gold card, fire cannon, storm razor, flea flubrick, <laughs> ghost, <laughs> slayer, nimbus look. Yeah, really, really skilled. Yeah, yeah, that's Just, it's actually F, gross. F1 it's actually... driver, two stun second, two second stun. <laughs> Targeted, two second stun, 800 range. <laughs> Four second cooldown. Really skilled. <laughs> yeah, I, I think in general the tier lists are kind of hard because, like, honestly, like all the at least the teams at the top, I think they can all win. Yeah. Like yeah. even though like I'm downplaying like that top and T1 could could be slightly worse, I think they are good enough that they can for sure win. Like, it's honestly like for me, uh, at least when we were like playing, it's it's about how the meta kind of shifts. Yeah. Like for example, at Worlds when it became range support meta that really helped T1, yeah. and just like even though they're on the same patch. Uh, the meta shifts a lot because you th think something strong and then when you think something strong people will find ways to counter it yeah. and then maybe you can't play that anymore and then when the meta shifts to help one team um, for example if it becomes like mid lane 1v9 then maybe Chovy's just gonna you know carry the whole tournament but uh, generally yeah. last year's Nautilus mid meta yeah, or, or if it becomes last year's Nautilus mid meta then maybe Gen is gonna really struggle because they really play through yeah. their mid laner yeah. um, so it honestly just Depends on meta because I think at least the top teams can they can all win, um, and they all have their own strengths. Like even though you're the best team, you have weaknesses and you have strengths. So it just depends. I feel like uh, based on what people start playing. Let's, yeah, yeah. Let's hope it's not any and Nautilus <laughs> mid meta. It'll be like so disgusting to watch. Yeah, you don't you well, you don't want to see Chovy versus Faker on their point <laughs> click. Hey, <or> Alessandra. <laughs> is it better than Zero? Is, is, is Galio kind of sick now? I've been seeing Galio show up. Galio is pretty strong in like, like, with, with full tank build. Yeah, I've seen both top lane Galio with like Ghost, mm -hmm. TP, and like full tank. I've seen mid lane Galio still playing it with like Shirelias and like AP builds. Do you remember season 7 Galio mid, like the full tank Galio mid? It yeah. was like so OP. Yeah, I think a lot of people are playing Galio because of Camille. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure Camille will play this tournament. Uh, I just press on solo queue, she seems really strong. She has bad matchups like Jax and Renekton still. Yeah. But like R5 kind of pick, people like Bin or Keen, I don't know, Zeus. Zeus, perhaps, will play that one. I think it's very strong. So we might see it as a combo. And I think support Galio isn't terrible. It's not great, but it's okay. So Serviceable. Might, yeah, it's enough that you can put it bot if you make it a big kind of pick, right? Yeah. Okay, so we got we got our top four. I feel like that's not too controversial. You know, the order could yeah. be uh, up, up in the air, but below that, who do we got? NA, mm. EU? I think I would put G2 is yeah. the first team. I would put G2. I'd Put them in their own tier. tier below top yeah. and T1, and then they're probably there alone. Yeah, I, I would. I, I don't think anyone is I in think, the same tier as G2. Yeah, they um, so lose energy, but I still, yeah. I still think they have. <laughs> I, I energy's not here. They're fine. Energy's they're not here. They're good. <laughs> I still think Big regardless of that, that they still have like credits from the past to bring them here, right? And they have been making fun of their whole region for like years now. So yeah, yeah they're definitely held back by the region being too shit. Yeah, I think they're. Probably better than the rest of the competition, but slightly worse than the Asian teams. Yeah. Um, but I think they're probably the team with the best chance to upset them if, like, there was a team. Uh, I think G2 that could, could fight them. top for sure. They play kind of similar to G2. Yeah. But I think Through bot? beating BLG, T1, and Genji is, like, I wouldn't say impossible, but. <laughs> Very hard. <it's> impossible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't um, know, man. But yeah, I think they're in their T on their own. And then right below them, we can put <laughs> everyone else from the West in. Yeah, Any order I, I mean, I, I, I think I think I would say TL is probably the, yeah. the best. I'd say TL, like, Fly Fanatic, or yeah. TL, Fnatic, Fly. I think it doesn't uh, really matter. Fly, yeah, Fly Fnatic, Fly. I, I'm guessing honestly, but there's like a lot of intangibles you can't predict. That's like, fine. Like, I don't you don't really know care. how like someone like Fnatic's roster, you know, play on the national stage or like how will FlyQuest manage to move on from this game they played yesterday? Right? It's like, eh, just put them in the same tier. Yeah. Left, right doesn't matter in this case. I think. Yeah, I kind of. But agree. TL should go first. I think right below G two, but. Slightly ahead of Fnatic and, and Fly, yeah. but not, not by a lot. Why do you think TL did so well in playoffs? Because during the regular season, they were, you know, not bad. But yeah, I think if you said at the beginning of spring that TL was going to win the split, you would get some weird looks, you know? Like, yeah, it didn't seem very likely. What do you think happened? Uh, I mean... At the beginning of the split, TL weren't, like, super strong, at least in practice. Although, I will say we were doing a lot better at the beginning of the split, at least in practice. And um, 
I don't know, something just happened, I guess, during the break, the three-week break that we had, um, where they kind of just figured out their play style or they just played better. I don't know. But, like, towards the end, even of the regular season, even when they were losing games, they were, like, probably by far the strongest team in scrims. Like, um, they were a lot harder to play than FlyQuest, at least in practice. And uh, they're very aggressive, and they take fights really well. They're really good at seeing angles, and they also, um, their ball lane lanes very well. And I think um, their whole team, honestly, was playing a lot better. I think APA, who many people thought was a weak point, was playing uh, a lot better. And um, it was actually a pressure point in a lot of their games. So I just think that they just ramped up throughout the season. And uh, they always felt like the hardest team to play. So I wasn't, like, too surprised when, when they actually won. Okay. Yeah, for me, I think the biggest things are that, one, TL's ball in is the best laners. They, they play the best, at least. And then I think the TL had the best identity. They knew exactly what they were what they weren't. They weren't trying things they weren't good at. They were playing the same way every game. You know, pick a strong laner for court, for, for Yon, pick a control match for APA, top side plays a Tango or Bruiser, no matter what, and they played really well as a team. All teams had these, like, they were trying random <laughs> shit that, that didn't like work C9. for them. I mean, C9 <laughs> is not, not the only one that was trying shots here or anything, you know. Um, but, like, there was a lot of, like, teams that didn't really seem to figure out what they actually were good at. Yeah, it's and true, then, yeah. You know, they were trying stuff, like the Lushinami, like the, the carry tops, like the playing on mid or playing on bot, and it seemed like they just failed at everything, while TL was just, they really early on figured out what they were good at and what they weren't, and played through ours at every game. Yeah. Mid bot, every game. Control mage, tanks, normal combos, you know, playing rel with the six, and Royal and Soul, Talia. They seemed to get their drafts under control, yeah. while everyone else had a lot of really bad drafts. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like TL's strengths, especially impact, because, yeah. like, part of being able to play mid bot, right, it's like, you need a top laner who's down for that, right? Yeah. It's not, yeah, yeah. It, playing mid bot isn't just having a good mid and bot. You oh, yeah. need a top laner who's okay to just be weak sided. Because if get you have a top like laner, ran. like, I mean, Bob, I'm sure you've had the situation as jungler where you really just want to play mid bot and your top laner is holding a gun to his own head saying, <laughs> if you don't come up here, we're not winning the game. And you're like, all yeah, right. That's like, that's like every solo top laner in every yeah, game. That's true. Yeah. And it's, we call it, it, the, I mean, the seventh camp. Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. It's a full clear into kill top laner. Yep, yep. You yeah. do crab after or before? It doesn't matter. He will die anyways. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> may maybe get one kill crab and then you get the TP back. Repeat. Uh, no, I mean that dude. That that is like every top laner, and I kind of get it. Sometimes when I play top, that's me. Like you just you have to. Um, <laughs> There's nothing to do. But There's nothing but dude, do. impact. He's just so solid, man. Um, did did either of you guys ever play with him? I've no. never played with impact. No. Okay, I, I got to play them once, and he's just so chill, dude. He can be. Getting f <laughs> unbelievably hard <laughs> and just be rock solid mentally, just being like, "Oh, it's okay." Rock solid, you know, mentally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Slapping I mean, f really hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, grow up, dude. Um, <laughs> he, yeah, and, and I, I think that's a really good thing to have in this lane swap meta because, as we've seen so far, and even just going back, you know eight years or whatever when lane swaps are a yeah. thing the top laner a lot of times is the guy who suffers the most you yeah. know yeah, you'll, you'll just roll, roll out a yeah. base at level one <laughs> and if something goes wrong maybe their top laner is level five you know we had that in the t1 yeah, yeah, game last yeah, night yeah, yeah. it was a level two atrox and a level five cassante <laughs> still beat him and yeah so he, he was solo so him. Managed to die anyways. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah and, and i mean you're, you're getting uh, they're pressuring a dive on you and you know that's that's rough bro like yeah. there, there's no way to to put that nicely, that is just rough. And I think Impact, if there's any player in LCS that I want in that situation, the level impact. two to the level five, it's Impact. Yeah, he's yeah. going to hold it down. You know, He's going to be solid. He's not going to tilt your whole team. So I think that's definitely a strength for TL. Yeah, I agree. Like having a top laner where like often as an AD carry, your top laner is the one that gets for you. Yeah. You know, you get to farm the wave. He has to die yeah. somewhere or not farm it. If getting a boost somewhere and you're like, I'm sorry, Fudge. It's just, you know, it's what it is. Or, like, in this case, it's impact, right? It's like, sorry, bro. I'm like, yeah, it's fine, bro. We can still win. Yeah, and also, sometimes, like, depending on what happens to your bot lane, like, even if your top laner is doing well, sometimes if the bot lane is getting f they'll just, like, ruin their top laner's game so that they can get farm. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> because, like, yo, we're swapping, bro. Come yeah, top. Yeah, like, it's like, if, if you're playing Jakes, for example, and you're, like, down two levels in, like, 30 CS and you literally can't lane, like, it's probably better for you to go top and f your top laner and send him bot than yeah. to, like, have the Jinx just never farm because. 
he's just not going to be useful. Yeah, it's, like, ever. it's rare that the top laner out carries the bot lane in pro yeah. play. Yeah, that's true. Um, besides, like, you know, Keen, Kazanta game five, when he was like, actually bombing five in the whole <laughs> team of Gen.G <laughs> and told team of T1, it was, that was crazy. Right games. Um, but it's, yeah. always, it's always the new champs that do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, really, like, it's actually really safe. Up. <laughs> <laughs> that transcends any role. Anything. Yeah, yeah. Two hundred years. When did your champ come out? Skarner right now is looking really good. Okay. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. 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 So okay, we got. Uh, is that all the Western teams? That's all. Yeah. The, yeah. So now we're getting down. No, into... we still got loud and Estral. Well, are they part? Oh no. no. I, I mean, I, I guess they're Western. Yeah. I, I guess, guess. Yeah. kind of right. They're kind of like Southern, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 South America. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I agree okay, with that. Okay, so what else? Yo, I don't know much about these teams. You, what do yeah, you guys think? I'm not I lie, didn't I'm really. Not them. Uh, I mean, I would just put uh, Gam at the lowest, just because. Yeah, I agree. Because literally, they don't even have their team. Um, <laughs> their team was like shuffled. They got like random players. From what I know, I could be wrong, but like uh, we're, we're, because that, of the is that from the VCS? Yeah, like, like because the, of that, the whole like, they, the, they, the they mafia lost, they lost, going on. <laughs> they lost like a couple of their players. That's just so crazy. They lost yeah. a couple of the players. They got some random players. SOFM was playing support for one of the teams. Um, yeah, it was just like a whole <laughs> yeah dude, roller that, coaster that's over crazy. there. They're just um, the whole league is win well, trading. Was it like over fifty percent of the league? It was like 62, 62, 65 percent or something. Yeah. yeah, it was like thirty-two players across all their teams. Yeah, across fifty players. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah, and it was just it was the players from like every team, which seems yeah, so every weird. Team had a player. Dude, what every do you do if, if yeah. you're one Both of the players? Win trader? Yeah, what do you do after your season? You find out like two people on your team <laughs> were just hard win trading. Like I would be so mad, and like, I would be like, dude, like that, explains <laughs> yeah. that explains so much. That explains so much. Like, like you thought they were so bad, but then like. Like in every scrim, they're one nine every game, and you're like, "Hold, oh, this guy's so good." Go on stage, you're just screeping. You're just like, "What the f is happening?" <laughs> went I, I didn't actually watch like any of the race streams and games, but there was actually a team that was zero and twenty-four. <laughs> like actually, there was zero and twenty-four, and then when the list came out, and all, all like ten of their players, because there was kick subbing people in and out, were like part of it. I was like, <laughs> I, I was like, like surprised Pikachu. And at the end, they just start warming every Bro, game. that's the that's the like don't make it too obvious <laughs> meme. <laughs> Like zero twenty four. That's why they got They're caught. They're actually zero twenty four. I, I thought it was so funny. But yeah, uh, I think Gam Blast is, is justified yeah. based on that alone. Honestly, <laughs> I think PSG should be at the top of the wild cards. Yeah, I agree with that. They have named players like Betty and and I'll put them at the top of D. I think they, they should be right below the West. Yeah, or like below the three Western teams. I mean, dude, they, 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 they gave FlyQuest a run for their money. Yeah, it yeah. was actually looking quite grim. I mean, they were in uh, winning positions. More than once. Game two, they were winning at, yeah, after the other game, right? Most of their games, like team comp wise, yeah. they play well in team fights later in the game, even when they're behind. So I think they deserve to be like right below the. Uh, I, I think it's trio. likely that the two of them will play again in lower bracket. Yeah, um, I agree. I mean, maybe FlyQuest beats T1, <laughs> but um, <coughs> it'd be unlikely yeah. case to happen. Or maybe, may or maybe, maybe, bro. maybe, maybe, maybe <laughs> Estral beats oh. PSG. You never know. You want to hit, bro? <laughs> yeah, bro. Let's go. Whatever awesome. Blabber's Blabber got over some there. Some premium cope over there. <laughs> and I think loud and. Uh, I, I what's think their face? I think Brazil's done better than like um, Latin like Land. I think that they are or yeah. are, are they Land now? Latin America. Um, recently at international events, so I would say they're probably slightly better than them. But I think they're in the same tier, right? Just yeah. Like right. Yeah. I, I feel like. Do I mean I e EST? Actually, they were, they put up a respectable performance against T1 last yeah, night. I agree. Granted, I, agree. I think T1 lines. was completely like trolling. <laughs> they, <laughs> they, uh, they were unfocused, bro. Like, <laughs> like they, 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 they might have taken some hits before that game. They were just. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, there was that play where Zeus legit just full HP tower dove. What yeah, was, that was it? Crazy, the, the, I think it was Rel the support mid, just one for ones. Like, no <laughs> gameplay oh, whatsoever. No, no. It's just like, I want to kill this guy. Dude, know, I'm just, just, my just stats. watching those, for one for one. just watching, yeah. like watching those games. Like, not specifically that game, but like when you watch like the LPL, LPCK teams play against like weaker teams, it's like. No matter what, it just feels like no matter what they do in the game, they're gonna end up winning. Oh, yeah. cute, hundred percent. Like, like oh, yeah. they'll like they'll like throw. At no point. Yeah, they'll. You convince and like yeah. also like I've had it happen to me too. But like, you're you you feel like you're like winning. You're up like five kills, whatever. <laughs> you got some towers. You're like doing okay in CS. But then somehow you're just always down in gold. Like even if yeah. you're like up kills or like it feels like you're actually doing stuff proactively in the game, you're just down gold. What's well, that quote? They're winning until they own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean until they lose, they're winning, blah blah something. I think that even happened last night. I remember there was a game they were up like seven to six kills, but then they're down four K gold or something. It's just yeah. like what happened guys? Yeah. So I mean 
I, think I, I don't see them really beating the Eastern teams, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Hot take. I think it's unlikely, yeah. I think they're probably like in the <clears> – <throat> might upset the West one or two games, but never anything else than that. Yeah. And probably just lose. I don't West. think they'll, they'll upset the yeah. even the NA or EU teams. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. Okay, we got our list looking solid. Looking I good. I think, yeah, that, that should be place yeah, for place like like, how it turns out. I feel like most of this should be like this, you know? Yeah, like it's it's kind of crazy. I've seen some lists with like Western teams in the top. Four. <laughs> I mean, and I'm like, bro, like, what what kind of like, like glue are you sniffing to put, <laughs> to put like, those teams there? Like, didn't you watch Worlds? I think that's, that, bro? Uh, that's gorilla glue. There's no way <laughs> I mean, Elmer's just gonna cut that one. But like, what the? F- I think uh, I think it's I think it's good. Like, I, I actually I like when people do that because I feel like you need some sort of like hopium or like really false yeah really false confidence to like really believe in your region because it's like. I think that's what makes it fun that, like, for example, like, every tournament, uh, like, the, the minor regions, they really, like, support their teams, yeah, I feel yeah, like. I and they, they, like, even if they can't, like, win, like, they really, like, yeah, have yeah. confidence in them. You know, they believe I mean, that they, they can win. Know. And I think that's really good. And I think, you know, the regions need that. Like, you need to believe your teams can win. Otherwise, like, yeah, I mean, yeah, why, why are you a fan, be, you know? You can be realistic as well about yeah. it, right? Yeah, that's, that's one thing I've, I've always wanted that from NA because, you know, I feel like when you watch... A lo- especially the 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 South American teams like you know Latin America Brazil, yeah. even when they get blown out, like they'll go down swinging, right? Mm-hmm. They never have these games that you know we're too painfully familiar with from the North America. The let's just do nothing. Try to not give up anything. Yeah. We're gonna hold on to everything. We're not gonna take any risks, and we're just gonna slowly bleed out. Yeah, and then mess up the team fight. And, and yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's just, let's just lose in peace. But like no one in. Let's not look too bad. And like, I, I don't want to be the guy getting blamed in the Reddit thread. <laughs> I am gonna be solid. Yeah, it's not gonna be my fault. Yeah, we're gonna lose. I'm not gonna make one. One effort to win the game, but I will not be the one who's most at fault for the loss. My last and game at Worlds, I was like 10 deaths, just didn't want to say. Was that the Alistair game? That was the Alistair game. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what's funny so about that? Like, like that everyone blames me for the flank at the end. <laughs> Even though that was the only good play I made the whole game. Was that the one where you were chilling in the, the yeah, bush? They have, like, they have like Elder coming up in like 25, 30 seconds. So I'm like, and they're like on your inhibitor. And <laughs> Wait, what was I playing that game? Was I in Tick 2? Probably. I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's just really right Safe bet. <laughs> if I had a coin flip, I would just say yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, <laughs> we can play by flank so often. Like, I see I people like, I don't remember on streams, play, it's the Sven flank. <laughs> you know? I'm like, bro, it's a good play. Just unlucky that I'm not yeah, lifted uh, at the base, right? It, I, I would much rather see in someone. Game, I, can't, I can't believe we lost the series. In a game where I'm like, entering the whole game, right? Besides, oh, yeah, like, yeah, dude. I mean, I would rather, I would 100% rather see my team go down in a blaze of glory. Like, Actually, huh? uh, <laughs> then just sit there slowly, <laughs> slowly bleeding out, doing nothing, being like the meme where you're poking them with the stick, being like, come on, do something. Because yeah. that's just so hard to watch. Because this is too online, man. <laughs> Dude, we're <laughs> you, you got your memes uh, down, bro. Yeah, you know, dude, I that's like my my primary language is memes. <laughs> Legit, uh, real Twitch streamer, right fluent for right, sure. Anyways. Yeah, because it, it's fun to watch that, man. You can root yeah. for them. You're like, I agree. You're just like, you, you, you get at least some cool plays within yeah. the, the sea of bodies. But mm. Those that, that's, that's not what we've them. we've gotten most of the time. Yeah. But maybe I mean, TL. I mean, TL likes fighting. I, do, just hope, yeah. I hope we see that. I, mean, I feel like the last Regardless of they win or lose, couple I just... of years, the West hasn't gone down with the whole do nothing and lose mindset. Yeah, they've, they've gone I, down with the let's I, lose I, really I, hard. At least, at, at least we have. <laughs> like, I, I don't mm. know if you, like, watched, like, our games, like, last year, at least at Worlds, like, our game versus T1, we got completely blown out from some griefing in the early game by uh, me. And uh, <laughs> who, who else did we get shit on? We lost, no, we lost to LNG, but honestly, that game, we could have won. Yeah. Like, we actually could have won the game to versus honest, LNG. We abused the pause. Yeah. My keyboard stopped working in the middle of the game. And then I paused, obviously, right? And then we had like a half an, no, like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, like 15 minutes, yeah. yeah. To fix it, just change one one cable, mm-hmm. takes 15 but minutes. But you, you, you actually, you and actually don't. And I was like, yo, Sven, I think we just do f***ing burn here. <laughs> 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 I'm like, I'm like, I'm so f***ing down. And like the moment we unpaused, we were both like, I'm so f***ing down. I'll watch this here no matter what. And yeah, then, it's because it's cause like. Um, we just go hit Baron and then it started. It, we, you only boom. have like, even though the pause was like maybe 20 minutes, you only actually get like three minutes to talk because you can't talk. 
yeah. during the whole like changing keyboard yeah. section. Like you're, you're not allowed to talk. It's only like when they're like, "Are both teams ready? Yeah. Can you talk?" And then when you say both teams are ready, you get like some, one minute. Yeah, some, also, sometimes yeah. something will happen, and then you can talk. But like, you can think about the game for like the 20 minutes, right? Like you can think about what to do. And honestly, those minutes feel really long if you aren't doing something. Yeah, if you oh, aren't part dude, of the problem. Yeah. You're like just there, like. Yeah. We, can I go to the bathroom? Nope. But like ba- basically, like up. the game was like not in the greatest right. spot. I f- I felt like, and like Azir yeah, was doomed. Azir was no flash, and he was like disconnected from his team. <clears throat> so like, I made the plan to like start the Baron instantly, and then blue trinket the top tri bush because I thought he was gonna cross, even though he was out of vision. Then the second he showed on the blue trinket, I like Sejuani ulted him, um, and we actually killed him. But then we ran it down mid and lost the game. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. But I mean, up until that point, it was so sick. That scale out of the game. Yeah, it was hard to do something. Yeah, dude, pause is always messing. I mean, in the beginning of the split, you guys were getting griefed so hard by pauses, remember? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember yeah. It, was, we, well, it was like, th- I think you guys had more time paused than in the, game. Honestly, the, the games at the beginning were like actually really, really bad. Like, our FPS wasn't great. We were having like... I saw Fnatic tweet about that as well. Yeah, like, like our uh, FPS wasn't great. Plus, we were having like packet loss. Uh, I, I remember like someone's monitor or someone on my team's monitor was oh Fudge's monitor was just shutting off and on like during during draft and <laughs> once during the game like his Dude. monitor was just, his <laughs> monitor was just turning off. Um, Dude, that would tilt me so hard. <laughs> and there's also like people are like saying like pause 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 and you're just like pause, and then like it takes some time you know like they can't pause themselves so slash s boys yeah. Slash S? It pauses the game. Yeah. Oh, I, I thought Slash P did it. No, no, no. Slash S pauses the game. Yeah. Most people really? do Slash pause, yeah. but Slash S is so much faster. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you can pause. Okay. And then there was this one time where, like, we knocked an Ori ulted against Dig, and they thought it was a bug. Like, <laughs> like they didn't know that you could ult on Oriana on, on top of Doctor's ult, and it would... Wait, did you have a pause and they, like, investigated it? Yes, they like, literally paused the game because uh, they thought no, that... No, actually, you're just Doctor, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they actually <laughs> paused... The they ones. Yeah, they paused us because they thought we were, like... Hacking the game, but like oh we just knocked your Oriano, like it's just the normal intended, I guess, interaction. And it, yeah, it, it did. Well, yeah, we, we talked about that, uh, like with double lift and stuff while we were watching it. And <coughs> sneaking double for pretty admin about that being bullshit. <laughs> well, well, the not the, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it dude, if you're an 80 carry and you get hit by that, like, you feel like, yeah, you're like, yeah, <laughs> I mean, the, the thing is, like, the thing <laughs> is, like, you don't want to flash before not your alt, yeah, because if you flash before, then he's just on you after you flash, <laughs> yeah, so it's just useless. So you. And then if if you don't flash and Ori ults you, you're <clears> dead, yeah. And if you do flash and to, to predict the Ori ult and he doesn't ult. <laughs> they, you're, they you're you're also just, oh, you're also, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I zero. mean, it it's a strong comp, dude. I've always said I feel like if I'm in an international tournament and you, you know you're punching up, you're playing against Gen G T1, BLG, whatever, like an actual unwinnable series, just lock Nocturne, because dude, I swear his ult is just actually the great equalizer when it comes to just like you know the other teams are gonna have like crazy vision control, but you know you just fight near bushes, you press Nocturne ult, and and they like what do they do? Yeah, you'll no kind of play. What do they do? You'll often find yourself in situations where like they have like Cassante top, Lucian Nami, and then like Asir, and you feel like you can't make any plays anywhere. Yeah, and True. you feel like you're getting outscaled. We we played so a like, we played some... a Nocturne game at at uh at MSI against BLG when they had Lucian Nami, and it, like even though we were killing them a shit ton bot. Yeah, we were like slumming early game. Yeah, we were slumming early game, yeah. but like Nocturne not actually like is like that good at team fighting. He has cleanse the Lucian as yeah. well. So like, even if I flash ulti him as Rakan, and he doesn't gale force it or dash it. Or flash it. He can still cleanse it and then flash it. And Nocturne doesn't solve collusion. Yeah, right? and, no- and Nocturne so is like, not the like the thing is like it's not great if like my teammates have to do something for me because like yeah. Nocturne, yeah, yeah. Nocturne is not gonna solo engage on anyone because his fear is an instant. He doesn't have any actual like crowd control besides stride breaker. Um, so it's like if my mid my my duel, I think you guys play Zyra Khan, yeah. he can't get prior against Lucian Nami. Then I can't go on Lucian. I'm not like playing by, you know. Like I yeah, can't. Like, like I have nowhere to threaten him. He can literally just walk forward, press calling on our face, and yeah, I can't. That, I can't go on him. That game we were winning early game, bought really hard, and we got a lot of ganks off and dives, and it just didn't matter because we go mid, fire cannon, bam. I mean, I don't actually remember like, like the game too well. Like we probably we probably griefed at some point. Like, oh yeah, yeah. honestly, I mean, I'm, I'm <laughs> bet, like, I think we had Galio mid that game. And Eminence was kind of no, 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 he wasn't playing Gallo. That what was, was that my Kindred game. That was the game oh, where yeah, yeah. I told Berserker I was gonna ult the Nash, and he said, "That's uh, Kindred." Stop, 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 stop. Fine, fine. Don't worry about it. Let's just. Huh. Stop. Just stop. <laughs> it seems like some. But that that series against BLG, we had a lot of uh, issues with like 
side laning, we would lose a lot of farm. Yes. Overgrouping. We would overgroup for objectives, basically. So we would, like, spawn into the game, up, up in gold in early game, kills, and then suddenly the gold starts going down slowly. You can scale, and you're like, well, time to go on someone. And then you go on your grief, and uh, yeah. it's over. It's a like classic. And also, the yeah, because they just, like, at least internationally, the teams don't, like, fight you in bad situations. At least sometimes in NA, if you overgroup for an objective, they'll just fight you anyways. Yeah. <laughs> what was that meme Sinan had for a while? Like, the AMT wants to fight? Yeah, we had a meme this year. It was like, the NBT wants to fight. And then we were like, okay, let's fight. <laughs> like, every time they wanted to fight, we were like, okay, let's fight. And then every meme is like, so guys, this is a 4v5 that you're taking <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> and then Luke's Blabber is like, yeah. <laughs> That's correct, yeah. We got him right where exactly. we want him. <laughs> Okay, can we bring up C9's tier list? I can always see Yamato Cannon's face right now and TL's icon. This is C9's tier list. Okay, mm. I'm gonna put this tier list in the F tier. Actually, this tier list is pretty good, actually. What the f <laughs> They're tier list by uh, names. Dude, if someone made this tier nah. list, they'd... oh, it's like in alphabetical order. It's literally by names, like B for BLG, E for Estral, F for. Ah, that is so cringe, not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, am I, am I just like not funny or like, do I have, is this stuff that's just, just cringe? It, no, I mean, I, it, I, it's, I, it's pretty low effort. I, don't I, know. I, I think, I, I, I think some people like it, but like, it was funny like a couple years ago, no? Yeah, I mean, uh, but I can't shit on it too hard because it's C9 tier so. list. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know, bro. It's really good. Right hashtag. I'd love to know. Uh, I'm gonna put this in the C for now, potential D. Um, the C for C9? Yeah, C for C9. <laughs> uh, I don't wanna put them too low, you know, so, so I don't get fired, you know, but yeah. Get fired over tier list. Yeah. Yeah. It could happen. You never know. All right. Let's get the next one. <laughs> next tier list. Who's the who? Who is the next tier list by? Is it, it's Kajol's, right? Okay. Go to Kajol's tier list. Wait. Wait. Did I just see? Okay. Kajol's tier list. They got BLG first. Gen GT1. Gen GT1 top. Uh, it's very similar to ours, right? It's pretty similar, yeah. Yeah. It's like the tiers are a little bit different, but the overall ranking of the team. It's like pretty similar, yeah. Same. Yeah. Like it's, Gen it's actually the same. I mean, the cool. the difference is he he's even got G two with top esports. Yeah. Well, he doesn't even have loud on his tier list. And two and Genji are like below BLG, so like Genji up with them. But yeah, loud like... might be one above BLG, but it's cut off or something. I don't know. Uh, I don't. Yeah, he literally is, he's missing a team. Maybe he thinks he didn't watch loud, so he doesn't rank them. Fair but enough. he has a don't know tier. It literally says don't know. Oh, That's the bottom tier. <laughs> he doesn't even. Yeah, well, um, you don't know what you don't know. Uh, <laughs> Moving on then. <laughs> looks solid. Yeah, I'd say yeah. Solid. I mean, it's like pretty similar to ours. So, I think uh, sometimes with tier list, it's like if you don't know their reasoning, it just makes sense. Yeah. Well, let's just put in the A tier. You, you can't justify your rankings without like some sort of you know reasoning. Wait, <clears throat> do we don't have to put anything in the S tier, right? Like if if nothing is like a standout tier list. Uh, okay, actually, the, his tier list was like, exactly the same as ours. Should yeah, we put yeah. in the S? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. probably. Or a, or a at least. Why are you moving the U.S. tier list up? What is that? Us? I don't know. Is that our tier list? The U.S. <laughs> what is what is the U.S.? I think it's us. No. Oh, is that our tier list? Probably. Who I mean, is moving? Oh, is that is that you? Who? That's not even, who's moving the mouse. <laughs> Yeah, it's, that's to say it's Okay, us. okay. Yeah. We're, we're, then we're the S tier. I'm cringing. We're the S tier. We can put Cadrill to the right of us because yeah, it was very similar to ours. Obviously, ours was better. All right. we, didn't, we didn't forget a team. Let's see double lift. That, he did forget a team. That That's points off. Yeah, I know. That's what yeah, I was considering. I agree. Yeah. Put him on tier below us. Yeah. Yeah, get him out of there. Dude, double lift has got deleted. Oh, here we YouTube. go. I was looking forward to the other day. Wow, he's got... He thinks An LCK he thinks top is worse than G two and Fnatic. Yeah, whatever he's smoking, I need some of that. This is a terrible tier list. I'm I'm not a fan of this one. Yeah, I mean it is. I mean everyone's yeah. everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I mean I can I can get behind like putting LCK. Yeah, yeah, that top. part is fine. Like, I, that, I'm not I'm not that, about to pose that one. It, that's like not the craziest take, but. Putting top below Fnatic is like, I think mean, honestly, like putting them in MT with G2 isn't like that crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But putting them below Fnatic is like a little bit crazy. Yeah. But I think that deserves. Where, where, where do we put this one? I mean, everything else is, I mean, it's, it's like, there's like just Where's not. PSG on the list? There's, it's at their D and then they're above the other. Okay. They're they're the lowest, they're the highest minor the, region team. Uh, the, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but. The highest of the lowest. Yeah. 
Is yeah. this is this another A tier? Is this a B tier? Like, isn't even that bad. Like, it's not it, that bad. It, it's bad. It's, just, it's like, like it's hard to be that bad because there's just not that many teams. I saw people you know flaming I mean? double for his tier list on Twitter and stuff. It, it wasn't that bad. Like I thought he would put like. I, I, think, know, the, I think I think the only B-tier thing that just for the top esports, no. Yeah, I mean the only yeah. thing I don't agree with that much is that the LTK or the LPL team is worse than both EU teams. Yeah, I think PLG should at least be. In the top tier yeah. with them. Yeah. Even if they're on, on the right, right? I think he's definitely undervaluing LPL and, of course, you know, the LCS. I think he's undervaluing the LCS. So I'll, I'll go with B for my tier list. Yeah, fair enough. Of tier list? The tier list, tier list. Yeah. All right. Let's go. I will I, dominate, I will dominate tier list, tier list. There. Did any of you actually watch their videos for the tier list? No. I didn't. I, 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 this is my first time seeing their tier list, to be honest. Yeah, I only heard about the tier list from, like, streaming. Yeah. People come to my chat and ask, what do you mean about this tier list? I'm like, I don't know, bro. I didn't watch their video. <laughs> so I heard Dom has, like, solid arguments for his his takes. Yeah, I feel, like, I feel like being able to explain your tier list is, is pretty important. Oh, his is, like, very similar to ours. Bro, I can't see the monitor. What, what's it say? Read that for me. Uh, so S plus is BLG Gen G. Excellent. Under that is T1. An S under that is top and A under that is G two and B. Honestly, that's what I would have done if we had more, like actually we had more, uh, like tiers. Tiers. I would have put top like one under T one, but remember we put them next to each other. Did we? Yeah, we did. We had top as the same tier as T one. Wait, but didn't didn't we have, didn't we have, top below T one? No, that's ours. Or did we have them like They're, same tier I mean, but yes, on the right? Yeah, they are below. I mean, those, those things are like the same thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, it's like this. Yeah, it's fair enough. It's it's whatever. It's good. Deal. It, I like yeah. his list. Yeah, his list is good. What, what else is afterwards? The only can we see it up there? It, it's literally the same as ours, by the way. The only difference is he doesn't have Gam last. He has Astral below Gam. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I think yeah. I think no. I think they're in the same tier. It's called Flight Back as soon as possible. <laughs> That's the tier that he has them in. So I think I think I think we're okay with that. I mean, Dom is like the biggest Western hero, no? Yeah, he actually uh, is he? I guess I don't actually know. I mean, I think that's good. I, yeah, I, I can see that going. Yeah, I, mean, I think that's. Just I, I think I think that tier is like very similar to ours. I feel like all this is just like <laughs> correct, you know. <laughs> say, like my opinion is like, the right <laughs> opinion, but like it just feels like. Nah, you know that tier list we just made. It's kind of <laughs> like I think yeah. all these other ones are way better than ours. I just feel like if you put your teams in different order, that's fine. But like the top four or five should be the same, somewhat, you know. Yeah. All right. Next or we have JoJo's original. tier list. Uh-huh. JoJo. We have JoJo's tier list. Oh, I can't wait for this one. It's gonna be terrible. Actually, this is the only tier list I saw. Jesus, bro. What is this? Am I seeing this right? So in the okay, S. Okay, that's cooked. In I the, see something in, crazy. In, going well, on. okay, I I can explain his tier list. So S plus is Genji because Chovy. That's why they're S plus. Yeah, watch this. That, yeah, day. that part's not the cooked yeah, part. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then NA NA Pride in S tier. That's NA Pride right there, and Faker NA Pride plus Faker, like and huh? He his his S tier is two plus NA teams. Liquid and T one. Yeah, and then A tier he's got Loud and BLG with Loud ahead of BLG. Okay. But you remember <laughs> I said Dublin wasn't crazy? No, this is crazy. <laughs> and then he's got uh, EU and E tier. Is it is like a fun? Is it like alphabetic order or is it like some no, sort of like no. trick? No, like it's, just, uh, uh, no. it's ranked in color or something? Like, I think this is what he believes. Oh, okay. So he, he's delusional. He, just, he giga boosted NA and giga sandbagged yep. EU. He's and, EU and, and, and LPL. He, he's not a big fan of LPL. We can tell that from this tier list. Just put him in like the lowest tier possible. Yep. Let's move on now. <laughs> he has <laughs> Top lane. Okay. Anyway. Well, who we got next? Is that Molecule? I think it's Molecule. It's an yeah. Elise. That guy watches actual games, so. Hope for some informed opinions here. Okay, so he's got Gen G and S, oh, BLG and T1 and S, Top Esports and A, G2 and PSG and B. I mean, yeah, is, about that this one. This is kind of like our list besides PSG. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, like, it's like literally our list almost. And then C, he has FlyQuest above Fnatic and Fnatic above TL. It's kind of weird, but I mean, does left right matter in this list? I I hope I, 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 I assume so. I, assume I, I think does. with so few teams, left right has to matter. I, I think I think it does. It's, it's usually people have it. How can you put Fly above TL? 
Like, maybe you didn't watch the finals. Uh, <laughs> Surely, right? Like, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe they think they'll be better like internationally. I don't know. Maybe like based on what? Like uh, the two rookies know. in the ball <laughs> <laughs> You know, like maybe they knew lane swap was coming. Yeah, true. And Fly did a good job of escaping lane phase yesterday. Yeah, so, which he didn't know when he made the steal list. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it it seems like a fine list with PSG, you know, randomly. PSG, slightly overrated. Maybe. Yeah. Um, maybe it's, a bad I think it's fine, yeah. Something. I think I G2 know. above the rest is fine. PSG should be lower, but besides that, it's... Well, why does he have a tier list that's... Or a tier that's just Brazil? And why is there no logo? I think maybe the logo wasn't on the tier list when he made it. Yeah, okay. Must oh, maybe maybe that's where Cage was missing his. Yeah, mm-hmm. just, they weren't like, qualified yet when they made tier list. Oh, oh, because they yeah, were in tier list. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. They might make a tier list. Okay, yeah, okay. that's whatever. Whatever. Uh, A yeah, or I B? Fine. I like it. I think the top tier. A. I mean, yeah, I'll give it A. Maybe one tier below the top. Yeah. 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 I think that's fine. Points off for the PSG. Yeah. Yeah. yeah true. I, they, they did almost beat FlyQuest. Yeah. They did. Yeah. But then also some points off for like you know the ordering and the the yeah yeah, yeah. FlyQuest TL tier. Uh, All right, TL. Let's see them. Is this Team Liquid like their players or like who made okay, this? Okay, the the players are ranking them. Liquid's players are ranking every team in MSI correctly. Okay, let's let's get to the final. Uh, I saw damn. something crazy in their bottom tier. We just gave TL a click on YouTube. That's actually not what We're I. We're actually see. helping our competition here. They literally took us this out. This is a massive mistake from C9 content team. So can we can we get to the can we get to the actual tier list? Okay, here we go. No, no, back, back. You had it. Yeah, pause. What was that face, bro? <laughs> Who's that? Okay. So they have BLG, Gen G, and S plus. Yeah, excellent. T one and S. Excellent. Top G two and A. Yeah, fair enough. TL and B. FlyQuest, Fnatic, PSG, and C. Gam, Loud, and D. Estral and E. I well, I don't know if it says E. It says more videos. <laughs> Looks solid. Looks uh, solid. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. I think. Uh, the only questions for me would be the PSG and GAM, but I mean, PSG, they're still the, the top of the wild cards. I think being on the same level as Fly and Fnatic might be a little too high. Yeah. But, I, I mean, mean their series was close. close. The I, think, the I think PSG you... right below or same tier is like, it's just it's a yeah, yeah. I mean, They also made this before the series. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, it looks good. I think it's fun, yeah. I mean, this it's is a, a pro player ranking that yeah. can get behind. Yeah. They copied us. They probably watched our video. Put them in S. Put them in S. Yeah. Okay. Above America. or below, I will dominate. I think same. Same. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think Dom's okay. tier was good as well. I also think like if you hear someone's take on why they put someone there, it makes a lot more sense than just like seeing like, it. Oh, we scrimmed this team. They were trash. So I mean, part of the appeal of tier list too, though, is just like you know the only reading the title of an article. <laughs> like you, you don't listen to all their yeah, reasoning. No, you no just dribble, see it. Just you just. True. Genji Quick good, uh, America bad, got it. Yeah. All right, Yamato Cannon, last one. All right. What does he have? I Hold can't on. see that. Gen he's got Genji T1. Oh, he's he's got the same one as Double Lift. Wait, what the? He's fuck? got Genji T1 S plus, BLG and S, G2 Fnatic above top esports. Dude, I need to know why like someone watches LSC and they can somehow justify in their head that Gen- that G2 and Fnatic are both better than top Wait, esports. this is literally double as tier list. It's the same thing. Is it hasn't it? been... Che- yes, it's the same exact tier list. This can't be right, can it? Open double as tier list. Can Maybe. you open double as tier list? Are we sure this is his tier list and not like him watching double as tier list and laughing at it? It's the same tier list. It's the same one. It does look kind of similar. I didn't it's, know, didn't know have like no. it's literally lower. identical. Wait, didn't he have? The, like, oh no no, no. Gam no, and Astral not. are swapped. Gam and Astral are swapped. Okay okay. There you go. Yeah, so uh, we could go maybe one slot above double it. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty low still. I mean, he legit copied his homework and changed it a little bit. <laughs> he literally plagiarism. he took his tier, tier list and was like, "This is my tier list now." I feel like <laughs> putting like top. I agree it's like a little overrated because they're from China. But like <laughs> I mean like people think they're as good as BLG, they're not. Yeah, yeah they're, they're not, not. They're, they're, not. Not. they're, not. they're not. not even close. They're not. But like worse than Fnatic? Like, did you watch LSC finals, bro? Did you watch like Fnatic play? <laughs> like you gotta be like f- high to like and these guys are trash, bro. <sighs> I mean And we lost to them? Yeah. I mean whatever. Wait, wait, um 
No, I feel no, like don't, don't go there. No, no, no. I okay, feel like I fine. feel like top like this year is kind of like BLG of last year. No, like no. people thought they were significantly worse than JDG. Yeah, okay, and yeah. like they're like everyone was saying like they're significantly worse than JDG, and yeah, they did really well last MSI. So but I think people that kind of agreed last year that BLG was a good team. They just yeah. couldn't beat JDG because JDG, cause JDG was but like I feel like top can lose to any team. Yeah, somehow. Yeah, that's true. Like they can lose to the West even. But like right. I, I don't see the West cracking like Gen G T one or or BLG. It's a, it's a lot harder to beat LCK teams than LPL teams yeah, from I my think, experience at least. Just because for the LCS they can't beat LCK. Yeah, it's like it's possible. The LCK just plays too solid. They play too like they play too standard. Like in order to beat LCK, it feels <laughs> like well actually T one's a bit different. They're yeah, it'd be funny. Yeah. yeah, but like the if you're not better than the LCK teams, they like especially Gen G. If you're not yeah. better, then like they will not. It's very common in, they will in, not in Korea that the better team always wins. Yeah, they will not like, it's like It's like a tier list, you know? One beats two, no matter... Oh, sorry, Mike. <laughs> One beats two, no matter what. But Never in But it feels like when we play LPL, like, even though LPL has a chance to beat LCK because, like, they're really good at team fighting or they have really good mechanics or... Obviously, they're really good at the game, too. But, like, when we play LPL, like, they can make mistakes. Like, they might, like... Yeah, yeah, they, they, they might lose lane Probably like, more just, prone to they, like they you, know, end, yeah. you know, like force some really yeah. sketchy dive. And but yeah. yeah, especially in like best of three or something like that. Best of one. It feels like the but LCK nowadays games with the do format not being different. End. It's also not good. Yeah. yeah, it's not good to to beat them for the West. <laughs> good for everyone else. <laughs> 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 We've got one fan question for Sven. Hell yeah! And that is, how is life not competing compared to when you were competing? That's weird. I feel like I have so much time. I'm doing nothing with it. I mean, I'm living in Cena's house. It's nice of C9 and, and Jack to let me stay here for free, just onging all day. No one's here right now because their Valent team is like not here for some reason. The, they're they they're moved in houses. I yeah, think. I think they moved. So houses. I'm like in the big ass house in LA alone with like our president Tran, the goat. I'm just playing solo queue all day. Been streaming a little bit, tilting every single stream, every single Dude, game. Dude, I've been watching some of your streams. It's yeah. it's really funny. I'm just so like I'm like chronically tilted. I think it's like <laughs> I think so too. It's it's terminal. <laughs> like my 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 tilt is terminal and so cute. Like I can't get over it. Um, Especially when you don't have a support main. Yeah, I've been dude, it's it's so hard because you you go from playing pro play where you know there's. Things, things happening. Th th yeah, there there yeah. there's a way things are supposed to be. And now every and then you go solo queue. And, and every it, game is blind pick Sona or blind pick Soraka <laughs> or blind pick Seraphine, and you just have no agency over the game. Yeah. In, in, in his ladder, for example, there's like one AD carry in top 30. One. And it's me. And the next two are like a Seraphine one trick and a Sway one trick. Hmm. And you're okay. like, you look at EU and it's like it's like three in top 10. You look at Korea, it's like three in top 10. And you're like, my role just sucks in this region because like it's just full like drool <laughs> on the keyboard, glue sniffing combinations in the ball lane. Like, <laughs> That's pick, a true combo. Pick the most unskilled <laughs> champ. Play for KDA and then just, you know, keyboard in your face like this. But besides the sulky part, you know, like, uh, <laughs> besides all that stuff, I've been on a new program with, um, you know, working out. This guy called uh, Viking Anton. He's a former pro player, now fitness, passionate gamer, helping me out a bit. So, been working out, trying to eat a bit more human, you know. I'm mm -hmm. on that, like, pro gamer diet, aka food. <laughs> No, you been you said you've been cooking. Yeah, yeah. I was making tacos the other day. I forgot the f the mix you put in the meat. So that was that was great. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't sound great. <laughs> no, it was not great. But yeah, I've been you know trying to eat healthier. I want to take my driver's license. Uh, but then I heard you need to have a car. So people apparently rent cars and then they get insurance on that rented car to take a driver's test. Huh. Which is like the most stupidest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, that's wild. And I was like, this can't be real. And my guy's like, yeah, it's real. <laughs> America moment. Yeah. Um, but anyway, like, so yeah, I'm trying to do that. Apparently, it's kind of easy. The driver's tests, even though Perks failed it twice yeah. when he was here. <laughs> Mithy, failed, Mithy, Mithy failed it too. <laughs> <laughs> he hit the curb once, yeah. I heard Perks, and then he no, went the, too slow, right? No, the, the, I don't know. The, sec the second time he came back, he literally said, like, I'm never taking this test again. Like, he but was the, raging the so funny part hard. Is that you can just take it, fail it, and then just come back tomorrow. I do it again. <laughs> it's like just hit your wall, hit your face into the wall until you, you get it right. They can't fail me but every yeah, time. You know, I might do that. That's what I've been doing. Uh, hoping to get a team for summer. It's looking a little bit grim at this point. Not gonna lie, but uh, we'll we'll see what happens. Cool. Cool. <laughs> yeah, cool. you might be jobless, but cool. Yeah, dude, <laughs> That's awesome. Great. No, it's more streams, man. It's good content. You can join. You can join media. In the just streaming. like comes in sometimes. It's like he just enjoys me molding. I think. <laughs> Dude, I mean, it's just funny, bro. Because uh, I get it. 
Yeah. I've been trying to like complain less. It's just. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, dude, you just gotta like I just like, just buy into it. Just I feel like instead of not trying to complain, just like go complain, but try to make it funny. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So not, the, the, the good streamers like uh, Paul Bolter, for example, is like he's just used to it. You know, he, he doesn't care. Like, yeah, my whole thing. Yeah, I was watching. I was watching QD stream like the other day. He doesn't care. And either. and like his he's his unhecked. millionaire was literally inting him, and then he was like, that his whole child was like, why aren't you like getting upset at this guy inting me? And he's like. It's just a game, like, I've been into so many times, like, <laughs> what am I going to get mad about? <laughs> and yeah. he's just, like, chilling, you know? I think being a good streamer is, like, you have to, like, be not attached to the outcome of the game. Yeah, yeah you got to transcend like, it. You got to just... Yeah. Like, if you're a streamer, you don't care about, like, the outcome of the game and the quality of the game. You just care about, you know, having fun, having yeah, a like stream, Yeah, the, the right? moment to the moment. content you're creating is it's, more important. It's, it's hard, but, yeah, if... You know, if you figure out how to do that, let me know. Because yeah. I don't know. <laughs> like, if you care about the game quality, it's so hard. You get so frustrated. Like, this guy's such a f bad man. <laughs> like, you know, like, I'm f punch the wall. <laughs> anyway. All right. That's that going to do it for us. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you agree with our tier list. And uh, let us know who you think is going to win MSI. Until next time.